Yeah. Nice smile, that's good. Yeah, yeah home of the Paris um, in Colchester. So I'm doing peak company in December. Yeah. Yeah. Peak company is a training for the parachute. Okay. So you get your barrier? Yeah, that's peak company, which is. So that's what you got past? Past peak company? 10 mile, know. 20 kilo backpack in an hour and 50. future opportunities to to remain this hard man that's in great shape and um, in my opinion we can take the world and anyone in the world and um, you're twiddling your thumbs for 10 minutes and then all of a sudden your heart's racing you're trying to cover up your nerves and you've got a big bluff on and you're thinking I had Rob McCracken always sort of keeping me focused and keeping me um, strong and confident in the training camps the sparring and the fights. Speaking of uh, retirement and uh, filling the hole one man who's going to have to do that is Vladimir Klitschko. You know, why come back and in my opinion lose a game to the same guy that you've already lost to? Um, I think he should have retired I think um, at 41 or 42 years old whatever he is he lost his last two outings the career he's had and his, the, the way in which he's lost his last two defeats I think it would be a good way to bow out nobody wants to bow out on a loss but to lose in the manner in which he lost, I, I thought was, you know, he went out on his shield and he was magnanimous in defeat. So he can hold his head up, you know, proud that he's had a fantastic career, a very long career, 67, 68 fights. I'm glad he's retired. I think the timing's dead right. I think a rematch with AJ would have been the same result. So at 42 years old to do what he's done. I mean, what a fantastic career he's had. He's a big unit as well. I retired at the right time. I retired on the crest of that wave at the top of the mountain. And, you know, a lot of boxers, unfortunately, they come back for money. I'm happy with the time I retired. I did, I did walk away from a couple of big paydays. But, you know, retire a champion, live the rest of your life a champion. And uh, my legacy is intact. And hopefully one day, I'm hearing a few whispers, I might be in the Hall of Fame. No, right decision for Klitschko and definitely the right decision for me to retire. He's done what he needed to do, Joshua, with Klitschko. He beat him. It was a great fight. There's nothing left to prove with Klitschko in Vegas with a fight that was probably a, a guaranteed win. It would have probably been a formality because Klitschko's getting older, Joshua's getting better because he's, he's still young. Um, so they're just looking at the next options now. Um, there's Pulev and there's um, Deontay Wilder who they'll probably swerve because Wilder's a big puncher. Joseph Parker, the heavyweight, I mean, he might be fighting Huey Fury next, so it might be the winner of them. Or a rematch with Dylan White who hurt Joshua early on. The thing is with Anthony Joshua now, he has to fight people who are who are big names who, who the public will buy into because he can't just fight anybody now. But he needs to sort of try and still pick his opponents because he's still, he's still a novice really in my eyes. I think to jump in with Deontay Wilder next, I think Eddie Hearn, his promoter, his coach Rob McCracken and himself know it's a big risk. So they'll probably put him on the back burner for a couple of fights and then, um, then fight him. I think the rematch with David Hay for Tony Bellew is the best, the best option for him. I think Andre Ward's too. He's too awkward and tricky. He's hard to hit, he's very fast. When you get close to him, when you get in the fight range, he's got this way of tying you up and nullifying you. I think it's very difficult for um, Tony Bellew to, to outbox Ward. I'm not sure what weight the fight will be made at, maybe at cruiserweight. If it is, then Bellew's got a puncher's chance. But Ward's just awkward and tricky and horrible. And it's a big fight, but I don't think it's as big as the rematch with Hay, especially not over here. A rematch is big and it's interesting. Was, was Tony Bellew lucky that Hay's ankle went or would he have got to him anyway? Will Hay be better now he's Achilles because he obviously had problems on the run-up to the fight. But um, that's the big fight for me, Tony Bellew, David Hay. But I just don't know if business-wise or financially they can come to an agreement. That's the one I think Tony Bellew should take and I hope it happens.